Hi, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to be making a jackfruit biryani fusioned with an Afghan pilau. So it's going to be an exciting recipe. I can't wait to get to it. So let's get started. So let's start by heating a pan. We've got some nice saffron. So stay tuned to the channel. I've got some saffron being sent to me by a friend in Iran as we speak. This rice is 1121 hybrid basmati. It's the longest grain rice in the world. You can buy it over at Taste of India. It's been soaked overnight, thoroughly washed and drained. Just going to cover the bottom of the pan with some pure butter ghee. Let's start by frying one medium onion, finely sliced. Add salt to taste. If anybody's not too familiar with jackfruit, it looks a little bit like a durian, but it lacks those strong, overwhelming flavours. So we've got a tin here, really conveniently put together. So this is a nice fusion dish. I just love Afghan pilau with the carrots and the raisins and jackfruit. I think it's just going to be a combination made in heaven. Ginger and garlic paste. So I've just heated another pan here and I've got a little bit of milk. I find if you're going to make the use of your saffron and you want to extract as much colour as possible from it, milk and the saffron colour really give a nice contrast and you get a far better colour. So I'm just adding the saffron and I'm going to heat that milk. As soon as it's boiled we'll come back. So next, I'm going to add some tomato puree. About two and a half tablespoons. As always, I'll be adding the ingredients and their quantities in the description of the video. Extra hot chili powder. The only chili powder to use. If you're going to use chili, use chili. And we've got some Shan biryani mix here that's um, manufactured. It tastes absolutely incredible. I'm going to use about half a packet. In the meantime, we've got our saffron infused in the milk. Just going to pour that into a little bowl. And we'll come back to that later. Like so. Typical Afghan style, we've got a couple of carrots, julienned, so I've cut up into little batons. I'm using golden raisins. Give that all a really good stir. Add a little lime juice or lemon. A little bit of acidity is always really welcomed in spicy dishes. Next, let's add the jackfruit. I don't think it wants to come out, so okay. Give that a stir, and soften the jackfruit slightly as well. I'm just going to put that on another ring to continue heating. We need to start caramelizing some onions. So again, a little bit of ghee. So we've got some slivers of onions, so cut fine but into lengths. Just want to slowly caramelise those onions and provide a really nice garnish. We don't want them on a too high a heat, we need to do it nice and patiently. What I'm going to do to just help is add a little bit of sugar just to help the caramelisation. Just swap pans. Turn the heat up again. Next, going to add some yogurt. About two thirds of a cup. Approximately 100 millilitres. Fine one when that cooks through. It'll darken as it mixes with the spices and other ingredients. That's starting to reduce. Smells fantastic. Slowly 
caramelising our onions on another wing. Next we're going to add this soaked and washed rice. And we're just going to spread it evenly And to allow that rice to cook in the yoghurt and spice infused gravy. The onions are starting to darken. And to do it really patiently, so those onions low flame. Next, just need to put a little layer of those caramelised onions on top of the rice. Flavour bonds. Next, a layer of coriander. So I added around two cups of hot water fresh from the kettle and this has been boiling down for about eight minutes now with a lid on and it's not quite cooked yet. We need all the water to evaporate and we'll come back. So that's been resting now about five minutes with the lid off. All the rice has absorbed all that amazing moisture and I like to let it rest for some time for the rice to curl up slightly. I'm going to serve it on this big tally bowl. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. I haven't got any more coriander to put on the top, which would have been nice.